Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about how you can read manga on PC using Tachiyomi. For those who are new to this, Tachiyomi is an Android app where you can make your own library filled with the manga of your choice and read it online or offline as per your preference. To do this, you will need an Android emulator. There are a lot of emulators out there. I personally use Bluestacks as my go-to Android emulator. To download it, open your web browser and search for Bluestacks. Now open the official Bluestacks website from this link. On this page, click here and your download will start. Once it's downloaded, install the Bluestacks software on your PC. I already have it on my system, so it's just showing me to update to the latest version. Make sure that your PC meets the requirement for running the emulator beforehand, though it will work just fine as long as you don't have a potato for a PC. Now I will fast forward the video to the point where the update is complete. It's done updating and now it's preparing to launch. This is the screen that you will see when you use the software for the first time. Now go to the system apps and open Chrome. Here search for Tachiyomi. Open this link and download the stable version of the app from this official web page. Once the download is complete, install the app and you're good to go. Now press escape to go to your home screen and open Tachiyomi. This time, I will show you the most basic things that you need to know in order to read manga on Tachiyomi. For those who already use Tachiyomi on their smartphones, it will be much easier to use this app on PC. And for those who are new to this, you can watch other videos on my channel related to Tachiyomi. I will put the playlist of Tachiyomi on the top right corner so you can also watch it from there. What you need to do in order to read a manga is to add an extension of a manga reading website which will act as a source for your library. Go to browse then open the extensions. Here you can choose any extension that you want and click on install. I would recommend installing manga decks and manga hub for now but you can experiment with the others later on. Now go to the sources and open any of the installed extensions. Here you can find any manga that you want to read. When you find the one that you want to read, just open the manga and click on add to library. Now go to your library and open the manga that you just added. Here scroll down and then click on the first chapter to start reading. Or you can click on this start button right here at the bottom. If you want to organize your library better, you can create sections inside it called categories. To do this, go to more then click on categories. Here you can create different sections in your library and name them whatever you want. As you can see here, I will add three categories named manga, manhua and manhwa. Now I will add a few different titles to the library and organize them into different categories. There you go. Now just enjoy reading your favorite manga. One thing that I forgot to mention is that Bluestacks will create a shortcut on your desktop for quick access to Tachiyomi. It's a faster way to open Tachiyomi in Bluestacks instead of opening Bluestacks itself and then opening Tachiyomi. That's it for today. If this video was helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this one. Till then, take care and see you next time.